the wood of the gang kids, and like we just kind of wander out to the session of this. This is my chest set. Give me my My soul is powered in my head. You just my chest. You got remember my chest. It was like so badly thought through. The social It's just that every lunch we lost like 10%. Yeah. Who managed to make it back in for the afternoon? Just 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 um, so with this, Andy, uh, we're your panel of judges today. Yeah. Also, you are being screen recorded, so this will be sent to Dean Quinton, who yeah. is an app creator and he works um, for Something Else Productions in London. Yeah. So he's going to review all the apps and award a media prize, um, but he's also going to give you some feedback that you can use from his blog. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, then... Oh, no, no, there we go. Um, so hello, my name's Andrew, and um, this is my um, pitch for my new app called Roper. Um, so my app is called Roper because um, it means close, and I feel like that's the main aspect of this whole like app. It's to, it's to help sell clothes that like are worn by stars or similar to stars for a cheaper price, so people can like look at their stars and the stars that they idol, idolize and stuff like that. Um, my app combines two, most, two of the most influential um, industries right now, which is clothing and music, um, to create a cross-media um, cross composed app. Um, so my target audience is, are 16 to 30 uh, year olds. Um, at this age, people, they, um, 16 year olds are just getting jobs or part-time jobs, so they're uh, able to earn their own income. So I feel like they'll start buying more clothes and they look up to people and obviously adults and also uh, have their own income and also have their own um, celebs that they look up to. So I feel like this web, this app is like that target age, target audience is a good kind of range for this app. And obviously here's a mood board of um, like a couple of things that I put down. So like the clothes, the outfits, the different um, music artists and the clothes they wear in their um, music videos. So this is just a basic flat plan over there of how my app will sort of look. Obviously it looks much better if it's on a real phone obviously and it'd be like much well just like much better design obviously it's just a brief idea. Um, the, the image on the right which is Ropa um, is going to be with the image on the right is going to be with the rough design. Um, when that is open, there's going to be like a clear black background, so everything else can just like pop out, like the like the buttons on the top, the blue buttons, saying music and interviews. Because I'm thinking you can get interviews with celebs as well as music videos with celebs, and you can click on the clothes that they wear within the interview and and the music videos. Also, below I've put um, music video of the week because there's a lot of music videos that come out week on a weekly basis, and those are videos are very like um, very fashion. Especially nowadays, they're very um, influenced by fashion, so I feel like this will be a music video of the week. Um, so the colour scheme, there's a clear, clear colour scheme that corresponds to the app icon, which is basically black and white, um, with a couple of colours thrown, thrown in there. Um, and the font will be fairly similar throughout the app, so a very nice italic, kind of fancy looking style. Um, when when you click on videos and or interviews within the app, you can pause the video and then click on the said clothing that you want, that you, the clothing item or the outfit that, that the star's wearing, and you can click on the link and it will send you to a website that shows you like similar clothes or clothes for cheaper. Um, so these are different platforms that will be, um, that will, my app will go on. So I'm thinking... No, no, no. Um, uh, so these are different platforms, so um, I was thinking both Apple and Android phones such as iPhone and Samsung um, should be able to have this app as most, as 
up to 2.5 billion people worldwide use smartphones, and I feel like that's a good way of putting it out there initially, and I feel like um, I should have it for free also, because I don't think people want to buy a brand new app as it's, as it's brand new, and I don't think people will be interested in paying money for like an app they've never really heard of. Um, so here's the, some of the some of the things I wanted to market it on. So obviously TV, so like before and after certain TV shows that my target audience might like, like um, Love Island. So that's a really popular thing right now. And um, I feel like putting it on before and after a show like that, people will kind of be interested in like, oh, what's this app about? Um, also social media like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. I was thinking for Twitter, there should be loads of like images of the um, of the clothes that we sell. They can have our own Twitter account, our own Facebook account, and an Instagram account, and maybe like our own Snapchat, or maybe a filter for like. Um, and we could probably rent out a filter per day. Like, you could probably have an outfit and swipe, and you could probably swipe up to check out that outfit or so forth. And also radio. And I feel like putting it on the radio because those people drive and those people travel to and from work every day and from school. I feel like having it on the radio just puts it out there to cover all our bases to the mass audience. Um, so staff, um, because the but the budget's not really capped, but I want to keep it as low as possible. So I feel like having a project manager and a marketing expert and a, de and a development team would be like enough. Bear in mind the market expert would probably do a lot of research um, and the development team, um, they're really code, a, a team of four people coding the app and designing it really, and maybe the marketing and development team could like help each other with the design and the research within the app, because their job roles could um, fall into each other, and obviously the project manager would just be in charge and help out throughout um, the process, so it wouldn't be a lot of staff and then it wouldn't be too, much, too detrimental to the budget. Um, in terms of regulations, I was thinking first of all we could self-regulate because it's an app, so there's not really any regulatory bodies, but we could also um, look at different regulatory bodies like ASA for advertisement, consumer advertisement, BBFC for the music videos to regulate music videos, and P PPRX, PPL and PRS for music and copyright and stuff like that. And general data protection, because I'm feeling like we could have a login for like a type of notification system so people can get notified, but also I want to protect their data within the app, so I don't want it to be leaked or anything like that. Um, um, finally, why should you invest in my app? I feel like there's a gap in the market for this app because there's not really there's not a lot of apps that kind of converge um, co combine these two elements, which I think would be quite. Um, Profitable because they're so because um, they're so so profitable industries like music is very profitable to the artist and music people buy uh, music and clothing sorry clothing people buy clothing every day so I feel like that's a great um, great reason why you should invest in me and um, I feel like it's such a big part of people's lives that I don't think no one, anyone would try and miss out on this app so I feel like that's why um, you should invest. Any questions? Thank you very much.